Hey guys and welcome back to EU4 and Beyond Typus. I'm joined as always by a Roomba Lambert and click 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 click. We're also joined by Zippy. Hello. It's me. Fucking try doing a fucking intro and I'll fucking click 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 hey, click click. I downloaded a program to reduce the clicks. <laughs> <laughs> what? I downloaded an auto clicker. Oh right, okay. And why yeah. are you still clicking? Because it doesn't auto-click everything, I have to start the clicker going. Alright, so I... It has I... drastically remote, reduce the amount of the clicks. Lambert, I decided to, to abandon maritime ideas, I'm no longer going to raid you. Yeah, I, I did the same thing when I had maritime ideas, they just weren't worth it. Well, no, it was very, very worth it for me, I really greatly enjoyed harassing you, but... I'm it, sure. It's I, more I important that I harass and, like, people prepared for fighting these dudes, so... It's just not that... No ID groups you take for them, then. Uh, what? What? Sorry? What ID, what ID group did you take to prepare? Assimilation ideas, so that I can assimilate the subjects and... get forts built everywhere and... You're make... taking assimilation ideas when we're going up against synthetics. Yes, I'm going to join them. Did I not Cylon. make that clear? Is it Cylon? Cylons from Battlestar Galactica, yes. Exactly, yes. Yuri is a fucking Cylon. Well, yeah. He's a fucking Cylon. So, the way that the, the synthetics can really mess with you, though, is say they declare war on, like, Mushasha, like they did. Mushasha. Every time they occupy the capital, <clears throat> the capital moves, because <laughs> they take it. So, what happens is when they occupy the very last province that a country owns, the war doesn't end the war leader just becomes whoever they were allied to. So you can end up with weird chain wars where they declare war on one person, kill that person, and then the next person becomes war leader and they call in all their allies and it just keeps going. That sounds painful. So for example, Gillian is now the one that's at war. Um, he's still the attacker against Mushasha. So Mush Mushasha must have provinces that are else where. Yeah, he's got that islands, those islands out there. Otherwise, Russia would get pulled into the war. Because Gillian is allied to Russia. If it wasn't for your covert action, Stejo, I could have sent you an alliance offer. It would have been very valuable for both parties. You don't like me very much because I raided your coast, so we can't be friends. Also, we're rivals. Yeah. Some things will never change. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next series. Why? Are you going to kill me in my infancy? You're going to like, oh, I'm, I'm Milan. Let's go attack the OPM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I could have this series and I didn't. And seemingly, in hindsight, that was a bit of a mistake. Probably should have just murdered you in the crib. Yeah, but that's not as fun. Is it? True. But what all's fair in, in love and EU4 multiplayer or something like that? I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, uh, Lambert, you've been hiring advisors using human studies for a while. I, I always forget. Yes. Diplomatic Annexation Guy is a Diplo advisor, I assume. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. I can't remember if there's a difference between 95% and 100% diplomatic annexation cost, so I'm trying to test it. Cost me 50 diplo points to integrate Hungary. All of Hungary. Probably start building spy network strength against them. I don't know what I can do, but uh, <laughs> I don't even know if that would help. Like, what would that do? Oh, well, at the very least, it'd give you some siege ability. Yeah. And I'm reduce. Just... In fairness, though, if you have if if I have um, nine cannons, that's I've got the the I took the age bonus for bonus versus forts. So, like, I don't think it'd take too much to get through their forts. Well, these synthetics have fortress ideas, so 
Better watch out. I'm losing money. Oh, remember what you're doing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'm serious. I'm not doing anything. Oh, no. Uh, never mind. I know why. I know why. I yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? I'm going and blaming me. It wasn't me. Well, it, in generally, in, in generally, in general, it is usually you. In generally, it is. One thing I lost you. from Maritime that was good is the 30% trade efficiency policy. That was quite nice. Trade efficiency is good. Um, I th like, I should get the infantry combat ability guy, but at the same time, fire damage plus a uh, 7.5 percent from a an advisor is still pretty good. Yeah, if anything, I think fire damage is going to be better depending on your combat ability already. Yeah, only cost me seven thousand to hire the guy. I've got thirty-two and a half infantry combat ability and fifty percent artillery combat ability at the moment. And I tried using my auto clicker to upgrade my my uh, advisor. Didn't work. Oh, I swear, I'm just gonna create a mod that that makes available possible advisors like plus twenty, so you can just always hire whatever the hell you want because it's just stupid that you can't fire you can't find the person you want in the entire planet. The entire country, at least. Yep. <laughs> I remember your um, your ruination of Russia is what's putting me over fifty power projection because I've got eclipsed Russia now. Yeah, that's why I did it. Oh, I lost Vralberg as a core province. That's that mountain fort that I lost to you. Sad times. Hmm. So I need manpower. The one ID group I don't have that I would still like is dynastic ideas, so you can remoke, revoke march status without paying stab. I guess it might not be worth worrying about. I should just pay the stab. I guess, I don't know. I could keep the subjects around. They have huge armies. Nitra has 96 regiments, and he's so tiny. Of course, the troops are useless, but... Probably got, like, cavalry and stuff. Goddamn cavalry. Yeah, cavalry kind of wank right now. So, how much manpower do you gain a month now, then? It's got to be like 16, 20,000. Nope. 8,500. How much? 8,500. That's exactly the same amount as me. 8,531. Really? What's your yeah. max? 626. Ah, uh, yeah, so you get the bonuses for... ...being uh, the revolutionary... Republic thing, uh, right? Yeah. And also you got Marshall. from birthplace. Marshall focus is a big modifier too, 30%. No enemies, brothers. What the fuck is that modifier from? Somewhere. No <laughs> There's a lot of modifiers. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not spending the time to go through it. So, who do you think um, they're going to declare war on next? Because, I mean, Mashasha, I don't know where they are anymore. They've got two islands that I can see. One's in Taiwan, and then one is just like southwest of Pasai and Siak. And I think that's confusing them. Like, synthetics are practically landlocked. They spawned in with the Timurids land, but they probably didn't have any navy. So they're trying to go invade Malacca, or uh, Mushasha. I'm considering whether it's a good idea for me to invade Sindh so I have a nice mountain fort. Maybe I'll just try and threaten war for it. Now Kill was going after Mushasha. I guess that means Mushasha must have provinces in Africa as well. So do the synthetics. The synthetics also border Zippy now. Do they? Yeah. Where? Oh yeah, right next to Malindi. They've got the province mm -hmm. of Tonga. Uh -oh. So they must have some boats. They're actually invading things. I mean, they, they border the shit out of me. 
Yeah, good luck. Thank you. I think I will need it. Uh, Sind is now being murdered by Sistan. <laughs> I mean, Sistan's surrounded by synthetics, and he's, I guess he's being a bit brave. Um, trying to decide what would be the best buildings to build right now for my nation. All right, this is getting ridiculous. I've fired advisors like eight times, eight months in a row, just firing advisors. I should also be able to send you my advisors, like make you pay for them, of course. Like Mexico. Well, there is that random event that says, oh, you know, Dutch, Dutch advisor available or or whatever. Yeah. Be cool that, if you can... That should actually be expanded to actually be what it's pretending to be. Yeah. I would support that. Oh yeah, drill as well. We should probably have everyone drilling. One one of the things that's is it's kind of funny about the synthetics is that they constantly lose their wars. Because they like to declare imperialism. They always have that, that cast of spelly, even if they start in 1444. Which requires them to occupy the enemy capital. Problem is when they occupy the capital, they can they take control of it, and then the capital moves, <laughs> so they can never <laughs> occupy the capital. So they oh, always dear. have a negative war score against them. Oh, paradox, never change. Wait, I have a core on this. I should be able to just threaten for it. Why can't I just threaten for it? Nothing but the sound of clicks. It's too quiet. It's, ah, it's, it's, too, it's, it's too quiet. We need... Talk over the clicks then. <laughs> we should just attack them. Let's attack the synthetics. That, that's uh, a, can I have like a, maybe a year to get some manpower back? That's like a proper German response to outside invasion threat, right? Just attack them? Now Absolutely. I gain nine and a half thousand a month manpower. That's not very good. You need more. The yeah, I know, I got a bunch more um, naval dockyardy dudes. And underground supply depots. My first six siege general, Paolo Corsini, you legend. I have been warned not to go to war with any countries. <laughs> like fucking who? <laughs> like who? Am I, who exactly am I going to go to war with? The synthetics. Don't attack them. <laughs> they want to be on the synthetic side, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I would if I could, but they won't accept outside alliances. They they will accept subjects for some reason. Every now and then they vassalize things for no reason at all. But it's weird. You can't That's actually weird. ally them. Well, I just I think they don't have any any kind of special AI or anything. It's just standard AI. They get super confused how it auto occupies stuff. If you were to 
form Prussia now, you'd get fire damage received, negative 20% from the revolutions thing. I don't think I can form Prussia. Oh, I was thinking uh, end game tag. Germany is a, yeah. But even if it wasn't, um, the Prussian culture is gone. It's all, not not all gone, gone, but it's mostly Hoch, Hochdeutsch. No. And then there's Preussic. I like how the S's in Preussic are like smaller. Yeah, it's interesting that all of your land turned into Hochdeutsch when you formed Germany, but I've still just got lots of individual Italian cultures. Bye, France. Did you kill France? Wait, where the fuck is New France? There's a new France? There's always a new France. Uh, yeah, I saw some blue in... Uh, where was it? Chris Warren, I saw some islands near Kilwa. Uh, the... Mahe, the, the island of Mahe is now owned by the synthetics. Don't know how they got over there, but, you know, whatever. Oh, new France. Is that in there in South Central Island? No, it's been <laughs> That's mental. So I apparently I've got a new colonial nation because France was colonizing when I integrated them. <laughs> yeah, see, when you full annex the overlord, you inherit their subject nations, right? Colony. Specify colony. <laughs> it's not just all of them. Hmm, so should I march to the border, or not? Like, I, f I feel like I probably should. Wait, have you made this your capital? Is that why I can't threaten for it? Fuck you, yeah you have. You bag of balls. All right, I guess I'm going to bring back my diplomat, the one that's been spying on you for the last hundred years. He's going to finally stop doing that. I assume that was to me. Yeah. Okay. Who else would I spy on? <laughs> I mean, good point. I suppose I don't need Switzerland as a march between us anymore. Not that they've really ever done anything. I don't even think they yeah. actually took fortress ideas. Oh, they finally did, like their last idea group. Gonna casually build another hundred thousand men. I assume you've got over a million men by now, right? Uh, I haven't really changed much in a while. I've got uh, one point four million force limit. I've got nine hundred thousand troops, so no. I could train up another half million, but I'm just being lazy. I guess I should. I'll just train up some more pure infantry. There's really no reason to go crazy with artillery. So the synthetics have the most morale, but Spain, you're not very far behind him. <laughs> well, it hasn't updated. I just abandoned all my morale policies. I mean, you can get him back, though. Um, yeah. Discipline, they've got 133%. Uh, Their professionalism is wank, so I mean, that's maybe something we can take advantage of. I'd be happy to have over 10k manpower gain a month, that'd be pretty sweet. It take a while to get all these troops drilled as well. Hmm. Needs to be done though. Cedar, you're awfully quiet. You must be doing something dastardly. He's sitting uh, pretty. He's on a fucking island. 
<laughs> he's, he's, he's safe as fuck. Just buildings. Just sorting out my building, sorting out some trade pish. <laughs> oh, okay. I just sent Ziffy 6200 ducats, and in return, I got insulted. <laughs> <laughs> the salt mines overflow! Ah, uh, fair enough. I'll have some powerful power projection. What shall we say? Mm, nah. Oh, yeah, that one's good. There you go. Actually, no, I didn't get power protection because we have a fucking truce. Ah. But it did make Stejo like me a bit more. Yay! <laughs> Scornfully insulted enemy, plus 22. So, uh, I sent in the scornful insult. When the account of our time is written by future generations, they will look at you with that mix of pity and disgust called compassion. One of the harshest in there. Mm. What's Bijapur coming down for? Go away. I've got separatists? Why? Where? How the f... Uh. Alright, so who brought us in? Because it's officially already about that time. Alright, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stitcher, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See ya. See you soon.